For many years, scientists have been working to build a full-fledged quantum computer that is all about taking computing to the next level, which could overpower any conventional supercomputer. Today, IBM has made its aspirations more concrete by unveiling an innovative quantum processor that is part of an effort to build super-fast computers, while Elon Musk has recently accelerated the progress. This video will explore Musk's insane breakthrough and its real-world applications. In a traditional computer, data is stored and processed in bits, represented by either a zero or a one. But in quantum computers, qubits can not only be in a zero or one state, but overlay of both simultaneously. The more qubits, the more computing power, and the more possibilities. IBM's quantum computer journey begins with a five qubit quantum computer on the cloud, known as the quantum experience, and brought about the Eagle chip that started in 2016. Since then, the company has launched a series of chips with growing numbers of qubits, all named after birds, each with its own set of technical challenges. IBM stated that it has created the world's biggest superconducting quantum computer, which is 127 qubit. That is over double the scale of similar machines made through Google and the University of Science and Technology of China and allows for approximately two times as much computing power as the earlier record holders. Previous devices have proven as much as 60 superconducting qubits operating collectively to clear up the problems. However, IBM's new Eagle processor more than doubles that through stringing collectively 127. Google, USTC, and IBM are more dedicated on backing the superconducting qubits technology because of latest development in quantum computing. In 2019, Google publicized that it had achieved quantum supremacy via its Sycamore processor, which makes use of the similar superconducting structure that IBM is operating with, which operates 54 qubits. However, Zhuchong Z superconducting processor from the University of Science and Technology of China has beaten it that uses 60 qubit demonstration. Leaving all these processors behind, IBM's 127 qubit Eagle processor now takes the highest spot and has ultimately damaged the quantum world's 100 qubit barrier, which scientists have been working to conquer for years. It is the largest and most dominant superconducting quantum computer to be demonstrated. Eagle is the stepping stone to larger machines with enough computation ability to solve interesting problems. The arrival of the Eagle processor is a significant step towards the day when quantum computers can outperform classical computers for practical applications. The Eagle quantum computer can beat the fastest supercomputers in the world in specific tasks and calculations. It can process information so complex that the work can't be done or simulated on a traditional computer. Eagle is based on a heavy hexagonal qubit layout, where qubits connect with two or three neighbors. This particular connectivity decreased the potential for errors caused by interactions between neighboring qubits, which significantly boosts yielding functional processors. IBM additionally previewed plans for the next generation of quantum systems, IBM Quantum System 2. IBM is constantly working to improve the quality and speed of processors through benchmarking their quantum volume and scaling the chips to disclose shortly an idea for the future of quantum computing systems, which they anticipate to be mature past the structure of a current quantum system. With this new system, they are giving flexibility to their hardware to continue to increase the scale of chips. The new system introduces a new generation of scalable qubit control electronics, together with higher density cryogenic components and cabling. IBM Quantum System 2 is designed to work with IBM's future 433 qubit, called Osprey, and 1,121 qubit processors, known as Condor. 
The plan consists of constructing intermediate size machines of 433 and 1,000 qubits in 2022 and 2023, respectively, and predicts following up with a million qubit machine at some unspecified date. IBM was indeed behind the production of supercomputers, but Elon Musk put forward a deal. He offered IBM a lump sum of money to get the ownership of these supercomputers, and IBM happily accepted. Now, Elon has all its rights, and his work will change everything. The Dojo is a supercomputer built by Tesla to train its machine learning algorithms faster and more effectively. The Dojo is powered by an Eagle and happens to be the fifth most powerful supercomputer in the world. As per the Elon Musk, the Dojo would have a capacity of over an exaflop, or one quintillion floating point operations per second. But why does Tesla need a supercomputer? The motivation for the Dojo came up from an immense amount of video data captured from their existing vehicles, which it uses to train its neural nets. All of this data is entered into a supercomputer where it's processed and analyzed, and that study is used to make AI better. Musk is developing systems with sufficient quantum volume to demonstrate an advantage in real-world applications. The noise about their supercomputers is blazingly fast, but do you wonder what these things actually do? And what are its real-world applications? The quantum computers could reach beyond today's limits to design new solar panels, lower airplane fuel usage, speed up artificial intelligence, improve financial investing, and cut delivery costs. Such huge computing power could have similarly remarkable effects for businesses. Perhaps quantum computing's maximum capability lies in artificial intelligence, where it could make data analysis faster and more accurate, as many companies depend on AI for important tasks, such as helping to fight fraud to detect irregular stock market activity, applications we see in voice, imaging, and handwriting recognition, and that's where quantum computing can assist in processing through complicated problems in considerably less time, which might have taken traditional computers thousands of years. Quantum computing can also be an effective way of understanding drugs and their reactions to humans, which in turn can save a ton of money and time for drug companies. Quantum computing, with the help of machine learning, can assist in developing numerous techniques to combat cybersecurity threats, which has continued to be an essential concern around the world. Additionally, this also helps in evaluating weather conditions in no time and with excellent precision, which conventional computers can sometimes take longer. Breaking the 100-qubit barrier is an incredible achievement from the IBM Quantum team while Dojo is a significant step in achieving this world of supercomputing. Despite the milestone, the commercialization of quantum computing is still a ways away, but it is evident that the race has begun. So, what do you think about Elon's quantum supremacy? Let us know in the comments, and we would love to have your feedback. Thanks for watching. See you.